TubeBuddy is a browser extension that gives you additional layers of efficiency, automations, and channel management options for YouTube, inside of YouTube. But what happens if you step away from your browser or what if you're only managing your YouTube channel with a phone? We've got you covered. Today we are covering the mobile version of TubeBuddy. And even though I have been told to not tell you, I'm going to tell you. There is a new version coming in the future, so watch this space for an updated series of videos. But today we are going to take you through the existing workflow of what it means to be able to manage your YouTube channel with our TubeBuddy app. So let's get started. Hello TubeBuddies, I'm Shelly Nathan, the video manager and product expert here at TubeBuddy. I'm so excited for today's video. We are going to be covering the ins and outs of the mobile app for TubeBuddy. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is, of course, install TubeBuddy. So we're going to go ahead and put up on the screen iOS on one side, Android on the other. Let's see how we do with this. Number one thing that you need to do is go to the App Store or the Play Store and you'll search for TubeBuddy. You'll see us with the little red icon that you have come to know and love and go ahead and install from there. After you've downloaded our app and then opened it up, we are gonna take you through a quick swipe through, quick overview of what you can do inside of the app. But I know for a fact that most of you are probably just swiping and then hitting go. That's okay, that's okay, I don't blame you. That's why you have this video. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with your Google account that is associated with your YouTube channel or TubeBuddy license. Keep in mind that if you are on the free version of TubeBuddy, you may have a few limitations, but if you're on any paid level of TubeBuddy, all of the restrictions will be lifted and you'll have no limits. So the first thing that you'll do is be able to see all of the channels that is associated with the login that you use. If you have a brand channel that maybe you are a part of or authorized user on, you'll go to the add a channel button at the bottom, you go back to sign in once again, it will show all of the brand accounts you are associated with and you can add whichever one you'd like to bring into the application. As you log into the app, the first thing it will do is give you an updated subscriber count and you'll be able to track that in real time. Next, you'll be able to, let's go ahead and switch to the comments. You'll also notice that there is a little gear icon and the little filter looking icon menu. You can select that. So if you want to, you can filter out messages that you've already seen or ones that you've replied to. So you don't need to see those in the list. If you do have a lot of comments that you're trying to get through, this can be a real uh, game changer for you so that you don't have to have your screen cluttered as much. And one of the best things about being able to see comments here as opposed to in the studio app, if you get asked a lot of the same questions over and over again and you have a canned response, you can access all of your canned responses or even add new ones inside of the TubeBuddy app. You'll just need to hit the triple dots on the right hand side of the screen and then it will come up. Would you like to delete this comment? Would you like to reply with a canned response? And then you'll be able to scroll through your entire list of canned responses and select select one and start it right there. If you'd like to start with their channel name as part of the comment to start off, you certainly have that option as well. One of the great things about the TubeBuddy mobile app as well is if you were to make changes here, perhaps add something like a tag list or a canned response, you're also going to see that change reflected the next time you either go to TubeBuddy.com or log in on your browser. So there's syncing between all of them, which is awesome. The next thing you're gonna see are these milestones along the bottom. Of course, we're keeping track for you so we can celebrate with you. You can have subscriber milestones, view milestones. You can have all kinds of milestones here. You can download the photo to your phone. You can share it out to social media, which is always fun. Tag us. We love seeing those, retweeting you, congratulating you. The next thing you can see is the news. Now, if you want to see how many different places we're getting news from, again, go to that filter and you can add up to the six sources that we have, or you can just decide to have one or none and you can get your news there as well. Once you go to the main menu, you're going to be able to see things such as the Tag Explorer, which is, of course, one of the most popular features on the browser version. You can still do that here. You can enter in a search term. It is a simpler modified look, but it still does a lot of the same information. So you'll put in a search term and you'll be able to see the search volume, the competition, and the overall score still across the very top. A lot of people don't recognize that's where it is, but it's there. We also have related tags. We have autocomplete and suggested tags. You can highlight the different tags that you would like to 
um, select, and then you can even copy them to a clipboard, which is really, really awesome so that you can use them for later. The next thing that's in here is the topic planner. If you go to the topic planner, you can actually, this is where you keep that little quick post-it note digitally of the videos that you'd like to make. So this is where you can come in here and just put in a new topic. And again, this will sync to the browser version. So you'll see it on your browser as well. Okay, so here's where the canned responses are and you'll be able to go in there and add a canned response. Again, they will sync to the browser version. So feel free if you want to, you can still add a canned response here and it will sync everywhere. The next thing is if you wanna go to the community section, go ahead and click on this little icon here, and then you'll be able to go to our forums. Make sure you accept the cookies thing so you can get that menu out of the way. And then you'll be able to browse through all of the different discussion forums. And then other than that, you wanna learn how to use TubeBuddy more, go to the Our channel, and you can go watch all of the videos that are on our TubeBuddy channel as well. Have feedback, such as, I know, hopefully you saw it in a, in a story, I'm trying to post stories, but um, more puppy cameos. I'm just saying if a lot of people commented that on this video, maybe in the next video or the next series of videos, there might be some more puppy cameos. Now let's go ahead and select a video. So in here, you're going to see, you can look at your existing video tags and see how they are doing if they're ranking. Again, you're always going for that little green box with a low number, which means you are ranking for that particular keyword that you've got in there. You can also go through in your tags here if you wanted to edit, if you wanted to delete, if you wanted to suggest or look for new tags or launch Keyword Explorer, you can do that in here, as well as you'll find promo materials in here. How often has it happened where you're like, oh man, I need that thumbnail for this video and I need the video URL so I can make a tweet or you know publicize it someplace else. Well, in here, you can actually save the video thumbnail to your phone. It will go right to your camera roll, which is amazing. You can also, if you wanted to copy the video description, you can copy the video title and you can copy the video URL. So if you wanna make a tweet, you wanna make a Facebook post, whatever else it is, You've got those options right here under promo materials, which I think is so great. Video lytics. So this is where you're still gonna be able to see how many views did it get? How many thumbs up did it get? How many total comments? And then there's some SEO information as well. Are you using you know, the specific keyword in the title? That information is all here for you, as well as this video report here. If you wanted to, you can see, I'm missing a couple of things. I should go do that. I should fix that, right? And if I want, I can even email myself that report. So that is a super helpful feature that we have here as well. And again, under the promo materials, while you can copy the URL from there, you can also do it from inside. At the top, you can either go straight to the video to watch it, or you can hit that share button and it will go to many social sites. If you are someone who is managing your YouTube channel entirely on your phone, you may find that TubeBuddy is the perfect companion to your YouTube and YouTube Studio app to fully manage your YouTube channel. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how you can use the TubeBuddy mobile app to manage your YouTube channel on the go. Question of the day, what kind of phone do you have and have you downloaded the TubeBuddy mobile app yet? Thank you for watching TubeBuddies. We'll see you next time. Bye.